And those are the starting lineups. Wearing the Some interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. some NBA action for you coming up. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and David, as most people know, you went through American, so I get it. Class in session. Thanks, DA. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at Indiana. They were hoping to get off to a better start to the season. Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. And when I look at Indiana, they're down at the bottom of the barrel in terms of standings. I can't imagine how toxic the mood in that locker room has to be here after these struggles. Yeah, and if you look ahead to this offseason, which the front office is probably already doing, they should. That toxic environment you mentioned will make this team a very hard sell to free agents out there. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. Then there's Karis LeVert. Then there's Malcolm Brockton. And it's Duarte in at the shooting guard position. And for the Trailblazers. Out of the wings for him, McCollum and Powell. Covington is at the four with Nurkic at the five. And it's Lillard in at point guard. Greg, for teams that are slow out of the gate, their fans can really be impatient and unforgiving. Yeah, the media too. I mean, I played New York, so in that town, you go big or you get talked about. And it happens in small towns as well. It's just a harsh reality of pro sports. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. The pass to Nurkic. to McCollum. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Indiana. This, of course, the first opportunity to play Portland this season. A, a matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. Yeah, this one will be for sure. Interconference matchups are always pretty fascinating just because of timing on scouting and how often you watch teams like this affect some of the unpredictability of the East-West battles. First quarter of play, one minute played. Kicks it to Lillard. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCullough. Zero hesitation out there as he catches that pass. Lillard just fires it. And standing 6-3 at that shooting guard spot. You know, the naysayers will question McCollum's lack of size defensively. Well, it might not be, G.A., the size part of it defensively. It's the fact that, you know, you'd like to make more of an impact defensively. So forget the size. You know, C.J. needs to show some more effort on that end. The, the best part about C.J. is that he usually wins the matchup on a nightly basis because he's such an incredible scorer. And that's where maybe you make up the difference. Covington, a screen on Levert. It's Powell with the drive. Offensive rebound. Covington setting the pick for McCollum. A floater. And he lays it up and in. Well, making the floater look effortless. McCollum has the body control and touch to drop that kind of shot in consistently. Locked in against Lillard. Here's Sabonis. First shot, first pass. He's out of the box fast. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Nurkic, and it's sent back by Turner. And I would not test Turner. And Miles has led the NBA in blocks and just has great timing on his jumps. 
So he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Here's Duarte after the basket by Yusuf Nurkic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Zeller, he's checked in for Portland. Here's Levert, and he just worked New York in that last game. Turner with a screen on Powell. Here's Levert. It's deflected. Levert against Lillard. Pass to Powell. Just five to shoot. Goes up and lays it. Oh. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And so Levert will bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. It's a five-point game. Steps back and fires. Powell pulls it in. But Trailblazers have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Pass to McCollum. Covington setting the pick for McCollum. Over Holiday. And that one hits back iron. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Levert against Powell. Levert the pass to Turner. It's not going to go for him. And it's Portland the other way. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. You guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, it's not always just about free throw shooting, but it can be a large factor and disrupt your confidence. Now here's Paul. 23 points for him in the last game against Cleveland. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And Holiday kicks to Levert. He sinks the 11-footer. And it's clear that Levert has tons of confidence, especially in his ability to drain jumpers. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Trailblazers lead by three from Portland. We're back in a moment. Your Damian Lillard winning the 2020 Magic Johnson Award, which honors the player who combines excellence on the court along with cooperation and dignity with the media. Being recognized for giving your time, but also making other people's job easier. Um, I take a lot of pride in that. The same way I take pride in my teammates doing well and my coaches doing well at their job, I take pride in the local media being able to do their job and uh, give insight and, and give a better look into what our team is doing. Well, Willard is well-deserving and well-liked, certainly. Some of the most open and thoughtful answers you'll hear. Comfortable with a microphone, whether it's a press conference or a recording studio, he's got quotes and bars. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Guys, what stands out from the Blazers so far? Well, pounding the boards is one way to gain an advantage. They simply own the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. And so in the game for the pace, Jeremy Lamb. You got Malcolm Brogdon, Jeremy Lamb out there with Demonis Sabonis, and it's Brissett in at the power forward. Over to the wing. Here's Nurkic. Back to Lillard and the pass to Simons. Nifty move. It's tipped and he gets it back. Nurkic can't hit. 
And for the Pacers, they come in off a great outing against the New York Knicks. Pass to Brissette. Here's Duarte. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Brogdon with it. Now guarded by Nurkic. Nurkic with the steal. And now Portland on the break. Shoots it. That's tipped. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. And after that ragged first quarter, they're getting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Now it's one of the things most fans don't notice, but Malcolm Brogdon, Greg, is one of the best free throw shooters ever. How about had a year where he shot 93% from the line to lead the NBA in his career just about a 90 percent shooter that's a huge advantage for a point guard like Brogdon a guy who handles the ball late in close games it's blocked here's Duarte in the corner it's Brogdon outside Lamb shoots over Nurkic no good from Lamb he looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. The shot by Lillard, wide open. Hits it from three-point range. Lillard's got six. And now Damian Lillard has got that three-ball swagger going. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Outside, Lamb. Six on the shot clock. This is it to Sabonis. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And the Pacers can't get it to go. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. Two that minutes, won't shake his confidence. Two minutes. Pass to Nurkic. And with the rise of guards like Steph Curry and Trey Young, seems like the little guys are really making their mark in the NBA. Well, they're starting to affect Kevin the way that really management is looking at building out their team trying to find wings that are equipped with defensive ability but willingness to shoot the three ball guards that are small enough and quick enough to get you an advantage to spread the floor a little bit so uh, the three ball and the way team construction has happened has changed the league quite rapidly here's what Portland's going with right now Robert Covington's checked in for Cody Zeller Norman Powell comes in for Inferni Simon and it's CJ McCollum in for Lillard Nurkic is a double-double machine every night. There's not a lot of teams right now that are equipped on their roster to handle the kind of size that Nurkic can bring. And so Powell will bring it up for the Trailblazers. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Second the Trailblazers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots That's of the night. And one Trailblazers. of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And so Powell nails both of them. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Trailblazers leading by four. 116 left here in the second. McCollum, no good. The Pacers have gone two or six in the field in the second quarter so far. Here's the pass to Turner. Shoots over Covington. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Portland's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Powell inside. He's covered by McConnell. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Inside. Craig passes to McConnell. Back to Craig. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Pass to Nance. It's McCollum on the wing. He's covered by McConnell. Holiday against Powell. Over Holiday. The shot by Powell, no good. You take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. 
And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second nice personal. work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his That's second trip to the line in this one. Norman Powell. The free throw drops That's for Powell. Two. He's off on the second. And that'll do it for the first That's half. A competitive game half. so far. Your score. It's the Trailblazers. The Trailblazers. They lead by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by court. Thank you, David. And whoops. I had a great fight we're seeing from both these guys. Each one trying to pull his team across the finish line. You know they love this kind of a challenge. And now let's get back to the Portland Trail Blazers, dealing with a thin margin at the half. They've been fierce at the defensive end, causing turnovers, coming up with key stops. That's the result of great communication and trust between teammates. Hard to score on them when they're playing like this. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Here's Lillard. Six points for him. Powell and Covington up at the forward. At the guard spots, longtime teammates Lillard and McCollum. And it's Nurkic in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Covington finds McCollum. Stolen. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. RJ passes to Brogdon. Lillard against Sabonis. Passes it to Orte. Five to shoot. And he converts the layup. RJ has got the first basket of the third quarter for Indiana. I tell you what, he came out of that locker room raring to go. Portland leading. Lillard outside. Softly drops in the floater. I love that Damian Lillard is developing that little floater in the lane. Smart to recognize the defense collapsing. And it's the Pacers ball. Well, we talk about the clutch scoring of Damian Lillard. I'll put it in black and white. Since he entered the league in 2012, nobody has more makes in the last 20 seconds of a game to tie or go ahead. Nobody. McCollum kicks to Lillard. Norkic in the post. He's against Turner. Turner with the steal. And a fast break now for the Pacers. Brogdon with it. Now Covington defending. Pass to Orte. Here's Turner. The shot's good. And the list of players with multiple series clinching buzzer beaters in the playoffs. Michael Jordan and Damian Lillard. And with a little Bon Voyage wave of the hand for good measure. Game time is as real as it gets. Here's Duarte. He is guarded by McCollum. Turner with a screen on Lillard. Here's Brogdon. The kick out to Sabonis. The pass to Levert. Indiana moving it around. Here's Duarte. Four on the shot clock. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. It's McCollum with the drive. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Levert. RJ passes to Sabonis for the lead, and the layup is good. Sabonis has got his second basket of the night. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Straight from inside. 
your Blazer Dancer. A different look now for Portland. Cody Zellers checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Nance comes in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for McCollum. Zeller dishes to Covington. And there's the foul. It's on Brissett. That'll be his second foul of the game. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. to Simon. Two minutes remaining. Down to five on the shot clock. Two minutes. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. McConnell against Lillard. Passes to Sabonis. He feeds it to Holiday. And Lamb kicks to Holiday. Beyond the arc. And it's Portland with the rebound. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Covington a screen on Lamb. Zeller finds Lillard. One. Portland no good that time either. Pacers have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Right side Lamb. Brissett passes to Holiday. Outside Sabonis. Pass to Brissett over Zeller, and that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first person. It goes on Cody first Zeller. Team. Nearly a foul. Indiana shooting their first free throws of the game, and he makes the first. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Lamb. He's perfect from the line this time. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Feeds it to Zeller. Now the pass to Simon. Lillard against McConnell. Shot clock at six. Lillard the pass to Simon. For the tie. The rebound by Holiday. Pass to McConnell. Down low and stolen by Zell. Here's Simon. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Pacers lead by three. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. All right now, a chance to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court for Indiana. Torrey Craig is out there with Levert. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Turn. And it's Duarte in at the two guard. Seller dishes to Lillard. And they come right back with their own three-point. And you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, He's just lighting him up. Turner with a screen on Lillard. Stolen by McCollum. And 
and that one goes long. Pacers leading by three. Brogdon looking it over. Into the lane. Pass to Orte. The three. Craig can't get it to go. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. Nance sets a screen for McCollum to tie it up. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got nine rebounds now tonight. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Brogdon, and the basket is good. Brogdon. How about Brogdon just adjusting there and then finishing with contact? Brogdon against Lillard. McCollum with the screen on Brogdon. Here's Lillard from down in the low post. It goes. Lillard's got five points in the quarter. Look at your watch. It's Lillard time. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Brogdon with it. He's picked up by Nance. Brogdon the pass to Levert. And he lays it straight in. And Levert with that slashing approach coupled with the outside shot. Boy, he is not an easy couple. Nance sets a screen for Lillard. Six to shoot. Pass to Powell. From deep. No good that time. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Avert against Nance. The pass to Brogdon. Craig with a screen on Lillard. And here's Levert. Nance gets the rebound. McCollum outside. Powell finds Nance. Lillard surveying the D. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Brogdon. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. No good. Shot missing. Zeller, a screen on Brogdon. And it's Lillard missing. Indiana leading by five. To the paint. Craig kicks to Levert. Turner with a screen on Nance. With the second effort, Nance with the rebound. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offense. In great intensity here Indiana down the stretch. He's not one to shrink You're in the moment. Let's take a look at it. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. A different look now for Portland. Yusef Nurkic comes in for Cody Zeller. Robert Covington subbed in for Nance. Sabonis, he's checked in for the Pacers. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the block. Hey, Kevin, we heard Rick Carlisle during that fast break talking with the team. He told him, hey, guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Final quarter. It's six-man time. Let's hear it. And now they decide to foul intention. Trail Blazers foul. Damian Lillard. That's his second personal, second team foul. At the line, he drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Brogdon being the rookie of the year and coming in and doing a great job for the Milwaukee Bucks. This is a guy who could play either guard position. He has a great mentality and great poise as a point guard. Trail Again, Blazers. Thanks, good work at the line there. Now we have a two-possession ball game. All right, fans, get on your feet. Make some noise for T-shirt time. All right, 
Philip who's coming out on the court. Come on, give it up for your late dessert dancer. Timeout called by Fort. With the timeout. They trail by five. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The loud and craziest fans get a free t shirt. Let's see it, fans. All right, let's just come out of the court. Come on, give it up for your blazer dancer. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. And there's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul that is his first foul first of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. McCollum up top. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And you give C.J. that kind of shot, and he's going to knock it down. He'll exploit the defense all night long. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. The Pacers, Malcolm Brogdon at the line for two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. No time to waste on this possession. Time is not on their side right now. They're aware. And here's McCollum for three. And that's an intentional Daniel foul. foul. Damian Lillard. That's his fourth personal foul. Good on the first, fourth and that increases their lead to six. At the line for the Pacers, Malcolm Brogdon taking two shots. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. It's Covington on the wing. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so the Pacers take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And hey, Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just Please what a tough-minded group they can be. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Malcolm, big shots in the fourth quarter. How do you get the confidence to knock those down? Uh, you know, I, I shoot those shots every single day. I work extremely hard. I have a great coach that puts the ball in my hand. He trusts me. My teammates trust me. They get me open. My bigs set great screens. Man, it's a, it's a perfect situation. And you finished the job, man. Congrats again on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and...